Hi, I'm Christopher with CK Customs PA. Today, we are going to be discussing sublimation versus a print and cut design. We have our sublimation print. We have a sunflower, multicolored, and we have our print and cut that's already done. Went ahead and weeded this out already. As you can tell, because this is not pressed on the shirt yet, the colors look a little bit different. These were also printed on two different printers because that's a sublimation printer. This is done on an inkjet printer with just standard ink. So we have our shirt on the press. Let me go ahead and pre-press our shirt. Let's give it a quick second here. Take our lint roller real quickly. Let's make sure there's no lint on it. Your lint will turn blue at high heat and leave marks. So we're going to go ahead and press that. While that's pressing, I'm going to go ahead and get this off of our backing paper. But there is our sunflower. And take our pad and blow out paper out from the inside. Do you have to drop the temperature on the press a little bit for the next one? While that's doing its thing, I'm going to finish getting this off. I'll be right back. Okay, we got that off our backing paper. We are going to go ahead and put that on a youth pink t-shirt. It's 100% cotton. Do need to increase my pressure. That's good. So that takes care of my pre-press as well as Better lint roll that or I forget. Don't need any uh, blue fibers. Just eyeballing that one up. Supposed to be a cold peel, but her sheet already popped off of it. So, our little one's done. So, there's our print and cut. It's nice and hot. We have our sublimation, which is for polyesters. And light fabrics unless you're going over a um, subliflock or uh, white glitter and then we have our print and cut which is for cottons so polyesters is pretty much anything but it's, so I'll use the dark transfers even on my light colors when I'm using my print and cut um, the thing I like about sublimation though is I am not limited to size on it, as you can see, with full size of the sunflower. 
and it gives that nice robust colors. They pop right off there and they look great. I hope you enjoyed our quick comparison between sublimation and print and cut. We hope to do some more videos on sublimation here in the near future. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and happy crafting!